Well, today the Chicago Park District announced suspensions for two managers in connection with a sexual misconduct scandal. And dozens more employees have been disciplined. The city is continuing to investigate. Rona Tumulty is here now with more. Good evening, guys. Yeah, more than 40 staffers at the Park District have been disciplined since March of last year when these complaints came to light. And we're told today that there are still three cases to be completed by the Inspector General's office before a final report on this is published, but that could come as early as next month. Investigations never happen fast enough, but I assure every person who has been impacted by this case that this is top of mind for me, and it has been since the first day I learned about it. Superintendent of Chicago Park District Michael Kelly announcing today that disciplinary action has been taken against 42 staff members, including two top tier managers. It is the assistant director of beaches and pools and it's the beaches and pools manager. They were both placed on emergency suspension last Friday and will remain on it until the ongoing inspector general's investigation is wrapped up. For the others disciplined, the consequences vary. Currently there are seven additional employees who remain on emergency suspension related to the investigation. Six others were told have resigned and been placed on a do not hire list. The remaining employees have either received a written reprimand, suspension, chose to resign or were terminated and are no longer eligible for future employment with the district. The whole thing started in March of last year. It was at Oak Street. That's where the, that's, this all started at Oak Street. A WBEZ report stated a former lifeguard was accusing co-workers of sexual harassment, along with both sexual and physical abuse. I got that letter um, from that young woman and I responded immediately that I was turning over the inspector general. Um, what I did instead, the first thing I did was I had to read it and I hadn't read it and I said that in my response. Uh, I read it and the first thing I did is I turned it over to my management team. That is not unreasonable. That is actually quite normal to ask your management team to look into it first. That complaint wasn't handed over to the Inspector General until six weeks later. Kelly's handling of the whole thing has drawn criticism, but he defended his actions today. I knew that wasn't going to be rooted out just with management, but I had to give management the first bite of the apple, the first crack at this. Adam, he believes he has the backing of the mayor. I believe Mayor Lightfoot, I uh, have Mayor Lightfoot's support. You better believe she's on me about rooting this out. She's not playing around with this. Nobody is. And when asked about his own future with the district, he had this to say. I started this. I'm going to finish it. Now, at least one other woman has come forward since that initial complaint. Kelly also announced today the creation of a new office of protection, which he expects will be up and running by January of next year. And that will serve as an intake point for verification and assessment of complaints going forward. But if anyone has a complaint in the meantime, we're told they can take that directly to the inspector general. Okay, thank you so much, Brona Tumulty, this afternoon.